You see that? You see that? Ugh. Man, I couldn't tell if you guys could see that or not. I don't know if I got, I wasn't quick enough. But I'm out here quoting and I don't know, you know, what that guy was doing, if that dude's working or what. But he had a weed whacker hooked up with a leaf blower to the back of his Impala. I mean, you're talking about getting it right there, guys. You know what I'm saying? If that dude's working, he might just be transporting it. But for the sake of this video, let's assume that dude's working, right? <laughs> I mean, that's dedication right there. You want to talk about hustle, man. That's hustle. Uh, I can remember, you know, I did a little something like that back when uh, I was first kind of getting this lawn care thing going. I uh, bought a... Uh, push mower toro smart stow and what that does is basically the handlebars just fold down and i what i did and i bought a weed whacker and that was it i just had that i bought the toro push mower that folds down and a weed whacker and uh, that's how i started and i put that thing in the back of my grand dam yeah pontiac grand dam i put i threw the lawn mower in the trunk bungeed the trunk down and I put the weed whacker with you know the bags for the grass in the back seat all right it's you <laughs> so that's getting it man that's hustle you know just saw that guy with his impala and it just kind of brought me back to the days where I was still mowing lawns out of my grand dam you know if you want something out here if you want something you got to get up off your ass and go get it nobody's gonna give it to you um, you gotta go take it. Um, just you gotta feel that urge in every part of your body, and I'm getting chills right now. Um, you just gotta feel that, and don't don't let anybody get in your way. You know, people can kind of prevent you from doing what you want to achieve, but there's always a way around it. If it's not this way, it's this way. You took a right turn, well, maybe now you gotta hit a U-turn and go the other way, but you can still find your way. Um, if you want something bad enough and you put in the work, you will get it, you know? Uh, so, just don't let anybody tell you what you should be doing. Don't let anybody tell you what should be going on in your life. You know, there's a time frame for this stuff, but there is no time frame. It's your life. Life is long. Life is long, okay? There is no time frame for accomplishments. Uh, I mean, just whatever it is, put in the work, you want something, get up off your ass and go get it. You know, there's nothing stopping you beside yourself. Nothing stopping you beside yourself. Uh, I don't know, man, I just saw that and I just brought me back to those days, man. Brought me back to those days. You guys want something, man, go up and get it, all right? You didn't do it yesterday, you didn't do it a couple days ago, so do it today, all right? quit saying I'll do it tomorrow. No, do that today, right now. There's there's no better time than the present, man. There's no better time than the present. You're present, you plant seeds for what you can reap in the future. Don't, I like this quote. I can't, I don't know who said it, but don't judge the day on the harvest that you reap. Judge the day on the seeds that you plant. I like that quote. I like that quote a lot. So, you know, you guys just get up and go get it, man. Get up and go get it. Get up off your ass. 